Good afternoon, class. This is Mr. Englehart. Today, we're going to learn how to use some advanced features on Google Docs, uh, in particular, the find and replace function, and also to what they call version history. All right. Let's say you need to write a letter to multiple people, but you don't want to recreate that letter, and you don't want to spend the time going through the document to find the the things that you want to find and replace. So we have functions that you could just do it very easily. First you do is you sign into your Google. I'm already signed in. Go to the waffles, which brings up all your Google apps. Go to docs and your Google documents should come up. While you're doing this, uh, you can use this feature if you're writing cover letters to multiple future employers, uh, prospective employers. Uh, I've many a times forgot to go through and find every single one of the uh, names and I've missed them and I erroneously sent out thank you letters or uh, cover letters with the with the wrong person in various parts of the uh, the letter. So with that being said, we're gonna go in and we're gonna find a blank document or you can use one of the templates. I'm gonna start off today with a blank document. When this comes up, I will rename it thank you letter. You can do that one of two ways. You can either double click up on the name and backspace and type it thank you letter. Or you can go to file, rename, and it does the exact same thing. All right, here we go. I am going to put in a generic name in here so we can just go ahead and quickly find it and replace it. I'm going to put down today's date, sep September 25th, 2017. All right, helps if it. September 5th, 25th, 2017. All right, I'm going to start off with Dear ABC123. All right, I'm going to enter again, use the tab key. I would like to thank you. Comma, ABC one, two, three, comma, for your generous donation for my school, A, A, B, C, one, two, three, comma, I think it would make you happy to know we used your donation to buy CAS tickets for the students period. Again, thank you for your donation comma a b c one two three period go back here and fix the typo errors the typos the 
Donation. There we go. All right. Enter, enter. Sincerely, Mr. E. All right. And most letters are in 14 font. So we're going to change that 14, that font size to 14. All righty. So we have ABC123, 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 ABC123. First thing we do is we go in there and we make go to File, Version History, Name Current Version. What this does is it saves your template. All right, your thank you letter template. All right, I'm going to put A, B, C, one, two, three, and press save. Therefore, instead of having all these different thank you letters, thank you letter Bob, thank you letter Jim, thank you letter such and such, you just have one thank you letter, and you can go in to file version history and see all your version histories. Right now, we just have the ABC123, which is basically the template, okay? So we will go back to the original, ABC123. We are going to go to Edit, all the way at the very bottom, Find and Replace, and we're going to find ABC123. And as we see here, it finds exactly that. So if you make just a generic thing that you know you're not going to type in there. And I'm going to use A, B, C, one, two, one, two, three, and see how if I were to go three, two, it hasn't found that one specific thing. All right. So I'll go one, two, three. All right. I'm going to replace it with a different. So instead of going through each and every one of these things and finding that one specific term or whatever, I'm going to find it and I'm going to replace it with my favorite teacher, which is myself, Mr. Period E. Now remember how you do this in, because if you do Mr. Space E, you need to type it in exactly that same way. I'll go down here and replace all. And as you see, all the ABC 123s have changed over. So it says, Dear Mr. E, I would like to thank you for, thank you, Mr. E, for your generous donation for my school, Mr. E. So therefore, you are be able to go up and just print that out. All right. So we want to type, we want to send it to somebody else, but I want to save this letter for Mr. E. So that way I know that I wrote Mr. E a thank you letter. I will make it a current version. Again, you go to File version history. I will name it Mr. E. Save. All right. So therefore, I want to change it over to my favorite Cavs player. So I'm going to change Mr. E over to my favorite Cavs player. And unfortunately, my favorite Cavs player is not with us. Uh, we had a sudden loss. It was very unexpected, uh, sadly. But we're going to find Mr. E and change it over to the late late Kyrie Irving. May he rest in peace in Boston. And again, as you can see, all the Mr. E's are changed over and replace Mr. E with dear the late Kyrie Irving. All right, there it did. It went through and it searched everything. Now, remember, I was down here. So I'm going to type it, Mr. Period E. I will go over here and make a version history and call it Cavs. All right, save. And then that way I can go into the version history and I can see the version history right there. So there you go. Well, ABC, Cavs. And then you just go ahead and print it out. 